first thing you'll need is a bead mat or similar work surface, some nice fine sharp scissors. I've got a beading needle here, size 10. I've got my beading thread. I've got my conditioner. And in the middle here, I've got a little contrast bead, which will be my stopper bead. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare our thread. So I've cut myself a length and you cut a length what is comfortable for you to work with. So don't worry if, you know, don't feel you need to start with a really long thread, you can work shorter. And then I'm going to condition my thread. So how I do that is I get my conditioner, or this is a natural beeswax, and then I just run the thread. And as you see here, I just hold it over and run it across the corner. And on the ends, I'll usually go through a few times on the end to make it easy to thread. Once I'm there, then I can just come in and get my thread and just run it through all the way, all the way, all the way. And you see, it's just, it's not putting anything too much on the thread, but it's just giving it a nice little slight residue of wax. It makes it slightly tacky, just a little bit tacky which means it will not ravel up so easily when I'm working with it. And I usually just run my fingers through in case there's any residue on there that I don't really want. And then now I'm ready to thread my needle. Now the way to thread your needle is, see I've buried it between my fingers there, the thread. Then I'll bring in my needle. And if you look at the whole of the needle, sometimes one side is different to the other. So I just bring the needle hole to the thread and thread it straight on. Now, if it doesn't go on, it could be that, um, you know, you turn it over and use the other side, the other hole. So there we are. Now I'm on. And I'm going to put a stopper bead on the end. Most of the projects we use, you will put a stopper bead on the end. So I'll just show you how to do that. You pick up your stopper bead. It's usually, you know, a different color so it doesn't clash with your uh, project. Bring it down. I always leave myself a good tail at the end and oftentimes maybe even 12 inches because that way I can use that to make a clasp at the end of it. Then just literally Take your needle back through and bring it through so that it forms a little loop. Hold it in place and now we're ready to begin. The chain I'm going to show you is called a Nepal chain. It's actually quite a nice little chain with stems and you can make them with either little flowers or little leaves. Uh, I'm actually have chosen some nice purples to make them look like little grapes and I've actually chosen the same color bead but one is a silver lined and one is a transparent so you can see the different colors these ones they are lined with silver and they sparkle and the transparent are just clear and quite pretty so I'm actually going to do the two different bunches of grapes just with the two different beads. So I've started, this is my stem beads. I've started with three stem beads. Oh, and of course I've got my stopper bead on as usual. I've started with three stem beads and five of my flower beads. And I'm going to bring them down to the stopper bead. And I'm going to go back down through all three of the stem beads and that will bunch up my little leaf or flower then I'm going to take my needle back through the two stem beads so I'm going around this bottom bead and back up through the two stem beads and pull it up. See, I always put my finger there to stop them from moving. Bunch that up. So tension is important here. Just make sure you hold it 
nice and firmly. The first couple of ones, it, you have to be a little bit more vigilant, but after that, you can relax a bit. So, okay, so now it's on to the next part of the vine. So now I'm going to pick up three stem beads and five flower beads. One, two, three, four, five. I'm using the other color this time and I'll slide these down there's my flower and my stem so this time you can see there's the three stem beads I'm only going to go through three to through three through two of them <laughs> okay so I'll just bring that down and bring it up through two and then you see if it doesn't go all the way down, you could pinch it down to get your tension and then pull it up. Okay. Now, here's the next bit. The first flower here, I want to attach this little stem to this little stem. So I do that by just going through this first petal here, which is the one closest to this stem. So if by taking my thread up through here, I have now connected these little vines. So when I add in my next one, which again is three, it's always three stems and five petals. One, two, three, <laughs> three, four, five. Bring it down. So now this time, again, I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, that's right. Go through my two stems, not the third one. Bring it up. And again, I'm going to connect them together by coming across to this stem and going up through that first flower petal just there. When I pull it up, you can see now they're connected. So then it's back on to the next flower. One, two, three stems. One, two, three, five flowers. Bring it down. Go through the two beads. Back down through those two, missing the bottom one. Pulling it up. And then I'm going to connect to this flower through that first petal. And then you just carry along the same way until you get to as far as you want. I've come to the end of my Nepal chain and I thought I'd show you how to attach the clasp on this end. Again, you know, you can attach whatever clasp you like, but the way to do it, because we've got this as an uneven finish, is I'm going to bring down two beads on this side. Notice how this is sitting higher than this. So we obviously want it to be a little bit even at the end. So I've brought down two, then obviously another and then the clasp, just like before, because it's always, you want to bring one bead to the clasp and go up and around. So then I'm going to go back down through the, this turning bead. And then I'm only going to add one this time and come down through here. So by doing that, you'll see as I pull it all up, there it is. I'll just pull it up so you can see. By pulling that up, we're going to get them sitting nicely. And you're getting the, 
I'll just pull up my tension a little so you can see properly. There we go. So now you can see that it's sitting quite nicely by having the two and the one on this side. So just like normal, I'm going to weave around and go through a few times. The other end is very easy because you're already coming out of one bead. So you simply take off your stopper bead and then add your toggle or the other end of your clasp just as normal. Mm -hmm.